Hello everybody welcome to Khatri 3D and in this video I'll be telling you how to customize your own UI in ZBrush and how to set your own hotkeys for the brushes we use in ZBrush and uh, to customize the UI you will see this uh, icons palettes and click on preference and go to config and click enable customize when you will click it now we will, we will be able to customize this ui now how to customize the ui you can literally change the position of every icon you see in the zbrush itself for example if you click on this arrow you can slide it down and upward and just like here you can make it slide uh, right and uh, you can make it slide left and right and uh, everyone has different size of uh, monitor screens and uh, uh, to customize the UI is very important because you would be using many features and you would want to use them fast. So customizing them uh, would make your workflow really faster and easier. So after enabling the enable customize in preference, now for example you want to uh, make these active points come here. So press control and alt on your keyboard and hold it and just click and drag and you can just literally place it anywhere okay you can place it here and for example i want to uh, move this material palette hold control and alt and uh, you can move these icons and place it over here so by Pressing and holding Ctrl and Alt, we can literally change anything. For example, uh, if you want any kind of brushes, for example, I want this clay brush to be here. Control, press and Control, press Control Alt and hold it and click and drag and you can just place it anywhere. You can make this palette come here. You can make this uh, gradient palette come here. If you click on it and uh, click on brushes and hit this icon to dock here here or here you can also click and drag and place it here now you want the clay build up to be here so you can click and drag and place it here okay this is how you can customize your ui and uh, another thing another tip would be that uh, this icons this uh, space you are seeing is infinite amount you can slide it down if you see this arrow okay left and right hold control and you can slide it left and right here you can add icons here then again slide it here and slide it down this is this is why it can work here also and it could work here also but in order to move these sliders you have to disable the enable option okay and to put the icons here and there or anywhere you have to press this enable customize option and you can save this ui by clicking or store config i won't do it because i have already my ui saved so if you click on store config the next time you will upload a zbrush you would be having the same ui which you have maintained it or set it okay and you can even save the ui the save the ui means it will save the notepad file so if you switch the computer or stall the new version of zbrush or anything you you, you can if you use zbrush anywhere else uh, you can load this ui uh, via a notepad file and you can just add the notepad ui uh, anywhere where you use zbrush i have provided the my ui and my brush hotkeys and the link is in the description now to set the hotkeys it is very easy first you have to disable this enable customize option okay to set the hotkeys always disable this option now for example uh, you can set the hotkey of any command in zbrush for example i want this clay brush to be uh, i want to set the hotkey for this clay brush okay and i have already set it which is alt 1 you can see it here alt 1 okay but i want to set it to 2 on my keyboard keyboard okay now hold control and alt and just click it with the left mouse okay it will uh, 
टेल यू डेट प्लीज प्रेस एनी की कम्बिनेशन की टू असाइन हॉट की और प्रेस ई एस सी और माउस बटन टू कैंसल और प्रेस डिलीट टू की टू रिमूव प्रीवियस कस्टम असाइनमेंट इट मीन्स इफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी सेट इट यू कैन डिलीट इट और यू कैन जस्ट रिप्लेस इट विद अनदर नाउ आई विल प्रेस टू पैड टू ऑन माई नम पैड एंड इट विल आस्क मी दैट यू हैव सॉरी यू हैव ऑलरेडी सेट दिस हॉट की बट आई विल क्लिक इट ओके because for the tutorial demonstration purposes okay now i want the standard brush to be the three on my numpad keyboard keyboard so can hold control and alt and click it and it will ask you press any hot key okay i want to press the three on my numpad key on the keyboard okay and it will say you have already set the three key so press okay and now if i click on two i can switch it to uh, the standard brush or the clay brush okay and this is how you set the hotkeys just click anywhere for example click it on the, uh, anywhere it will ask you for the hotkeys hotkeys are mainly used for the brushes and it is very important the customized ui and hotkeys are very important steps in zbrush because every option is harder to find in zbrush for example if you use the z ray mesher or dynamesh uh, you would set these both options here don't worry i have uploaded both my hotkeys and customizable ui on the de link description you can upload it and upload the hotkeys i mostly use 1 2 3 on the, um, my keyboard on my uh, my hotkeys are 1 2 3 4 5 6 the keyboard options you see for the standard dem standard clay build up or anything you can set your own okay the important thing is the ui i have provided a link of my ui in the description upload it you can also get the hotkeys which i am using and uh, upload it both on your computer and uh, i'm providing my ui and because that i will be sculpting the t-rex in future which i have demonstrated on my earlier video link in is in the description if you haven't seen it see it the crash course zbrush to understand the ui if you are a complete beginner of course and uh, i will be using my own ui and my own hotkeys on that video from now on and uh, just download my ui or my hotkeys and upload it on the computer or set your own hotkeys and uh, let's uh, meet in another video and we will begin sculpting the t-rex head as usual okay take care i hope you like this video if you like it subscribe it and uh, share with your friends i will meet you in next video